today we're covering a front face lock counter into what's called a sucker drag. So this is a common technique in amateur wrestling and jiu-jitsu, but we're going to use it in more of a pro wrestling aspect. So from the front headlock or front face lock, we're going to go with an, an over grip around the head and then hooking over the arm. If I twist around, you'll see that my arm's being trapped here. To show you from this angle, with the standing version, the arm that's being trapped needs to reach across and grab the elbow. So from here, I'm reaching across, I'm grabbing the elbow. If I twist around, you'll see that I've latched on with a thumbless grip. So first thing I'm doing in this position, reach across, grab the elbow. Second thing I'm going to do is walk my feet around to the side. So I'm walking to the same side as the elbow that I'm latching. And what that's going to do, regardless of how tight they're, they're holding onto the front face lock, that's going to release my head from the hold and give me control of this arm. So normally in pro wrestling, you often see people will twist out. They'll generally look for space that way. This is the opposite. I'm actually going to twist, walk around to the side, but I'm actually twisting into their body. So reach across, latch the elbow, twist out. You'll notice here straight away, very easy to release the front headlock. And if I keep tight, I've got hold of the arm. From here, what I'm going to do, come to a grip over the wrist. I'm going to grapevine the leg, hand on the chin, and pull the chin out. If I lean down, I can actually trap the arm just with my body rather than my hand and start to work different holds from here. A lot of different options in that position. So one more time, front headlock. Grab that opposite elbow, step around to the side. Here, take control of the, of the arm. There's also a, a grounded version, so exactly the same kind of technique. But if you're ever brought down to the ground and you want to escape, again, it's kind of the opposite of the usual kick sit escape that we do. But I want you to post through the mat with your right hand and almost pop up to your feet like a downward dog position in yoga. I'm going to walk my feet around, latch onto that elbow, and as I walk my feet around, I drop my right knee. As soon as I drop, it breaks that hold. I can work the arm from there. One more time. Run a headlock on the ground. Reach across, grab that elbow. Post on your right arm, or whatever your opposite arm is. Walk around, drop that knee, work the arm. 